All eyes are on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and how it will reshape the MCU. But is Captain Britain hidden on the guest list? He's been hinted at, he's been fan cast, and he's even had casting rumors. But with the coming of Doctor Strange's multiverse misadventures on the horizon, we might finally get to see Brian Braddock return to defend Britain and the Earth in his role as the protector of the multiverse. That's right, we said return. At this point, the conventional wisdom is that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is at the very least a prelude to the House of Them as a way to introduce mutants to the Marvel Cinematic Universe now that their rights have come home. Now in that story, loneliness and grief uncork Scarlet Witch's powers beyond Professor X and Doctor Strange's ability to contain them. When she's told that killing her is an option in the What Do We Do About Wanda roundtable, she grants everyone's deepest wish. When that doesn't work out, she scrubs most of the mutants. All signs for the upcoming WandaVision have her trying to create an ideal reality where Vision is still alive, even including the kids that she literally willed into existence, Speed and Wiccan. All of this reality bending is going to come at a cost, and we know that Scarlet Witch will feature in Doctor Strange. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a prelude to House of M. Now what does that have to do with Brian Braddock, Great Britain's Great Defender Captain Britain? Well, Captain Britain had his own hand in the House of M mega story that just so happens to have a strong correlation with the events of the MCU. When you add the backroom casting rumors and wish lists, the second Doctor Strange movie is the ideal place to introduce the character. Even more, they may have already name dropped Captain Britain in Avengers Endgame. When Steve Rogers and Tony Stark had to double dip into the past, Rogers found himself in a dark room next to his one true love, Peggy Carter, checking in on an operative named Braddock. Perhaps Brian Braddock? Yeah, totally Brian Braddock, aka Captain Britain. That's exactly what we're saying. Anyway, Marvel has even formed a wish list of its own casting, at least according to rumors, and that's Henry Cavill. With the Man of Steel's future in flux, Marvel was eyeing the square jawed Brit as the Isles' ultimate champion. Still no mustache, though. Now, it's not just the name drop and some wishful thinking that places Captain Britain in the center of the second Doctor Strange movie, and perhaps the nexus of change for the MCU. Captain Britain was stationed at the Nexus of the Multiverse, otherwise known as the Otherworld and the Starlight Citadel, the headquarters of Captain Britain's one-time boss, Roma. As Merlin's daughter, she was tasked with keeping an eye on the multiverse. Uh, yeah, that Merlin. The go-between for that strange woman lying in a pond, distributing swords as the basis for supreme executive authority. Well, when Wanda Maximoff started rearranging reality in Earth-616 like she was rearranging the furniture, it caused a causality rift that threatened the rest of the multiverses. Just like it was with the others, the general consensus of the Captain Britain Corps, if you're defending a multiverse, why only get one Captain Britain, the consensus was that Earth-616 was starting to become more trouble than it was worth. Roma decides to give the troubled dimension another chance by sending in Braddock to seal the rift. Now this actually fits in pretty well with the MCU. Once Thanos got serious about his stone collection, the reality of the Marvel Cinematic Universe had taken some mighty blows. The Avengers skipped through time, ripping the universe's most powerful elements out of their time and back to theirs to snap everyone back. In the meantime, Loki snuck out with his own Tesseract, Gamora may have skipped timelines, Captain America definitely did, and that's just the last two Avengers movies. Now this all adds up to the MCU's Earth-199 might end up being a problem child in the multiverse. If Wanda has weakened the membranes between worlds that perhaps allows Nightmare to have a waking hold on Earth, it could be Captain Britain who returns to Earth to give Doctor Strange the warning that the clock is ticking. Just like Heimdall sending the Hulk to warn Doctor Strange. Though maybe this time not by crashing through the roof. So what would this look like? Doctor Strange has a lot to catch up on. He's been gone for five years, but it's not like he doesn't know what happened. He read ahead in the book back on Titan. Still, five years is a lot to catch up on, especially if Mordo has been out there reducing the number of sorcerers unchecked. With all this catch-up, maybe he doesn't notice that Agnes in WandaVision is really Agatha Harkness who's helping Wanda turn up the wick on her powers. That is, until Brian Braddock in full Henry Cavill glory from his job at the Starlight Citadel returns to Earth wondering what happened to his home dimension. The Ancient One ran such a tight ship. 
Doctor Strange introduces himself as the man in charge, and Braddock informs him that the Earth-199-999 shenanigans have put it on the remove list, and Doctor Strange needs to get things back together. Ooh, someone's in trouble! In the end, it would be decided that Braddock is going to have to stick around, since the world is more complicated than when he left it sometime in 1970 when he was supposed to check in with Peggy. And that's how Captain Britain could end up in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So what do you think? Does that seem like the way in? Would you like to see Cavill in the MCU? Let us know in the comments, and while you're there, protect your multiverse by subscribing to CBR for the latest videos. Thanks for watching.